Hi, thanks for tuning in to Atomic Moto's product review of the Alpine Stars Toucan Gore-Tex Adventure Touring Boot. This is their uh, flagship boot in that particular product category. It has lots of really technical details. We're going to cover all of those and we'll also give you some information about how it's going to perform out in the field. But first, let me hit some of the basics about this. Okay, first, the Toucan comes in sizes 7 through 13. It is sized from US sizes, not EU. It weighs about 2.92 pounds for this size 10, and the height of it is just about 13 inches tall. Now those specs are very consistent, very similar to other adventure touring boots in the category. Almost everything weighs about 2.75 to 3.0 pounds, the CD Adventure, the Garen AG Midland, uh, the Forma Adventure. So the Toucan is right there in the hunt, both in height and weight. Uh, it's a, a two buckle design, it's got two buckles and a large Velcro piece up at the top. And um, the Toucan uses a welt sole, a stitched on sole, can be resold, and you see there's a fair amount of uh, lugging on it. Now, the other thing you'll notice is at a glance, uh, there's a lot of plastic on the exterior of the boot. The Toucan has quite a bit more plastic than other boots, and that puts it near the more protective end of the category. This is a very, very good thing. Speaking to the waterproofness of the boot, it's, it's not just waterproof, it doesn't just have a waterproof liner. This is a full Gore Tex boot, it is made in a Gore Tex facility and um, we'll hit why that is good but um, but I just want you to know that this is not just waterproof it is Gore-Tex uh, and then some other details the Toucan is made in Alpine Stars European production facility they have two one based in Thailand and one that is a hybrid uh, in Europe it is a combination of Italian sourcing and, and some prep in Eastern Europe manufacturing specifically I believe Croatia in the case of the Toucan and, and that is the better of Alpine Stars two production facilities it retails currently, as of this video, for $449.95, puts it near the upper end of the category, in fact, uh, pretty close to the, the top of the category. It's not the most expensive, though, uh, but it still actually packs a lot of value. Um, so that's the basics on it. It's really consistent with other boots in the category, but it's got a lot more plastic and, and some really good key details.